Live from downtown Bakersfield, 23 ABC News Midday starts now. Good morning and thanks for joining us for 23 ABC News at 11 a.m. I'm Danielle Kernkamp. And I'm Mike Hart. Our top story, the Westchester Bowling Alley in Central Bakersfield has officially closed its doors as staff members are now busy moving the entire operation to the bowling alley in the southwest. AMF posted signs on their doors at 30th and F Streets informing everyone of the bowling alley's closure this weekend. The sign reads, quote, we appreciate the many memories made here and hope to see you all at the Southwest Center. The AMF location is existing business on Weibel Road. While the bowling alley will close, Mossman's restaurant will remain open at the Westchester location. All right, a lot of changes happening in Bakersfield, All right? Let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Elena Rusk right now with a peek at another change that's coming in the weather department. That's right. Today it's pretty calm and pretty seasonal. It's cool out there. We're still at 59 and then later today, 62. But you're going to notice more winds picking up. Actually enough to where we had a wind advisory for the deserts this morning. That's been upgraded to a high wind warning. And that's because there's a system moving on shore to our north. Doesn't bring us any rain or snow, just some high thin clouds and those blustery winds. So be very careful down into our desert locations. That's the Syrian gold here. This high wind warning in effect until 10 p.m. tonight. We could have some damaging wind gusts there. We've had reports of some blowing dust coming into the National Weather Service out of Los Banos to our north. So here on the valley floor, it's breezy as well. And then take a look at that area of purple. This morning, it was a freeze watch. Now it's a freeze warning. We know that we're going to have several hours down below freezing in the North County Valley cities. Delano, Wasco, Lost Hills, McFarland dropping to about 30 for your overnight low here in Bakersfield, upper 30s still really cold out there. It's just not as much frost to deal with. And then that storm comes barreling in. We've been hearing a lot of people talk about it. It arrives late tomorrow night. It's more so impacting us all day Wednesday and Thursday, busiest travel day of the year and Thanksgiving. It's one to two feet of snow here in our local mountains above 5,000 feet, six to 12 inches of snow possible above 2,000 feet. So we'll talk more in our full forecast about the travel delays and those possible road closures due to this storm. In other news, Kern County Fire is investigating what sparked a deadly structure fire in Rosamond early this morning. Kern County Fire uh, on scene at Franklin Avenue in Rosamond about 445 this morning where they found a detached garage fully engulfed with heavy smoke and flames. Fire crews began uh, hitting it from the outside to protect nearby homes. Even though it was knocked down in a matter of minutes, crews did find a body inside during their search. The cause now is under investigation. One person is under arrest in what Bakersfield police are calling a street race that ended with the death of an unidentified woman. Investigators say a red Mustang and gray Dodge Ram were speeding down Old River Road between Ming and White Oak Drive around 5 p.m. when the Mustang collided with a minivan. The impact sent the van spinning into another car. The female driver was pronounced dead at the scene and two minors were taken to the hospital with moderate to major injuries. The driver of the Mustang was detained and further investigation led to the arrest of 50 year old Ronald Pierce on charges of vehicular manslaughter, DUI, and reckless driving. He is due in court tomorrow. BPD is still investigating this. If you have any information, call them at 327-7111. A change of plans over the weekend after the owner of Cafe Med announced last week they would close their doors this Wednesday. But due to what he said were unforeseen financial complications, they had to close early. The restaurant officially shut its doors Saturday after the owner, Mayor Brown, told 23 they redeemed nearly $12,000 in gift cards. Located off Stockdale Highway, this place has been a memory, he said, for many people in Bakersfield over the past 28 years. Brown said they are not able to honor any outstanding gift cards or vouchers at this time if they're not already prepaid for or pre-ordered. 23 ABC did reach out to Sam's Club officials who say if you purchased a Cafe Med gift card through them and you've received a validation and it's not been used, then you're able to get a refund. Tomorrow, funeral services for the high-ranking sheriff's deputy who passed away suddenly will take place in Northeast Bakersfield. According to family, friends, and Shafter Police Chief Kevin Zimmerman, the funeral services for KCSO Commander Ian Chandler will be tomorrow at 10 a.m. The service is happening at Canyon Hills Assembly of God Church, located at 7001 Auburn Street. A reception at Buck Owens Crystal Palace will immediately follow the service. Chandler died a week ago yesterday at his home. Officials say they're waiting for the coroner to determine the cause of death. 
And a resource fair will be happening tomorrow in honor of World AIDS Day, and Kern County wants the community to join in on bringing awareness. The resource, resource fair will provide health and social services, including free, confidential HIV testing and a food distribution. Event organizers say the goal of the fair is to raise awareness for Kern County's HIV rates. Starting tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. in the Self-Help Credit Union parking lot at 21st and I Streets. Also tomorrow, California Pizza Kitchen's inviting firefighters across the state to come in and enjoy a free entree. The restaurant said they're doing it to show appreciation for the men and women who work to keep our state safe. Firefighters can choose from a pizza, pasta, full-size salad, or and beverage tomorrow. The deal applies to current and retired firefighters who arrive in uniform or provide some other proof of service. CPK is located, of course, on Stockdale Highway. Meantime, the Armed Forces Support Foundation announced they'll be holding a fundraiser at Jersey Mike's on December 9th. The foundation said 20% of all sales will go towards helping veterans from all eras. It will take place at the Jersey Mike's on Stockdale Highway, 5120 Stockdale, located near the Aldi Grocery Store. Sandwich shop is open from 10 a.m. till 7 p.m. TA Petro is a one-stop shop for travelers across the country, and now they're hiring at their Tahoe location. In this week's Kern Back in Business, 23 ABC's Daniela Garrido has more on what they're looking for. TA Petro at the Tahoe Outlet strives to be the go-to stop for travelers on the I-5. We have gas stations, uh, mini marts, fast food, um, sit-down restaurants, fuel services, truck services. So we provide a variety of just amenities for the travelers. The shopping center is looking to hire in multiple positions at the 24-hour location. Positions in fast food, dishwasher positions, server positions, uh, cashier positions. Um, so we have a variety of positions out there for just about anybody because we offer so many different things. The company says they are hiring for all shifts around the clock and are looking for customer oriented candidates. We're looking for people that you know can smile and make somebody's day, make them feel welcome in our facilities. A recent job candidate says it was her consistent work history that helped her resume stand out at a recruiting event. They were impressed with the 10 years of work experience that I had and I also, you know, I'm bilingual so that also worked in my favor and I also got to, you know, ex explain to them that I had manager's experience and they're impressed with that. TA Petro says the drive to Tahone is often a concern for candidates, but they may offer extra compensation as well as public transit route options. It's an easier drive than people think. It's a 15 minute drive if you're in the south side of town. So um, it's easier than people really think it is because it's an easy shot right down the 99. And that was 23 ABC's Daniela Garrido reporting. The Bakersfield National Cemetery is preparing for its annual wreath laying salute to veterans, but they need your help. Wreaths across America, Bakersfield, and the local Civil Air Patrol uh, need sponsorships for about 3,000 veterans who are laid to rest at the National Cemetery. This year's goal is 5,200. With just over 2,000 sponsored so far, many grave sites might not receive a wreath this season. The deadline to help out is a week from today, December 2nd. This year, National Wreaths Across America Day is Saturday, December 14th. The ceremony locally begins at 9 a.m. It's free and open to everyone. For more information on how to sponsor a wreath, give them a call at 360-1899. We are soon entering the season of giving, and today you have a chance to give to local children ahead of the holidays. The Bakersfield chapter of Toys for Tots is hosting a toy drop-off event this afternoon at BMW of Bakersfield. Toys for Tots will be accepting toys and cash donations from 2 to 5 p.m. Last year, they delivered toys to more than 28,000 kids in Kern County for Christmas. Again, it's today at BMW of Bakersfield at 5400 Gasoline Alley Drive, starting at 2 p.m. CHP also looking to give back to kids in need, and once again, 23ABC is teaming up with them to help out. The Chips for Kids toy, drop put to, toy Drive, put together by local officers, collecting new and unwrapped toys for and other items for infants, tots, and teens. The so CHP says when it began nine years ago, they helped a couple of hundred kids. Now, that number totals about 4,000. The drive accepts more than just toys. They need things like blankets, clothes, shoes, and more. And the best part is the kids get to shop for their own gift, which makes it more meaningful. If you'd like to help them out, there's still time. You can drop off items at any local Walgreens location, Motor City and the Auto Mall, the CHP headquarters, even right here at our studios. The toy drive runs through December 16th. 